Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about Palantir Technologies PLTR stock in regards to the stock's share price, specifically their fair value price, because if you are an investor who has gotten into this company below their fair value estimate, that means there is a huge potential for you to make loads of money in the future, so it means that you are doing very well as an investor in Palantir Technologies. So what we're going to be going over the recent contracts that they've landed, their overall revenue projections, as well as their fair value price targets from bearish negative analysts, bullish positive analysts, as well as myself, to determine whether or not you are doing good in regards to your Palantir investment. After that, we're going to move on and talk about a missed opportunity that I talked about previously that not many people seemed to jump on. So if you missed out on Palantir Technologies already, this other artificial intelligence stock could earn you considerable returns at a very reasonable price, even though the company has already more than doubled in their overall share price. And I think they could still climb higher, so I want to bring this company to your attention. And then lastly, we're going to round out the video talking about SoFi Technologies SOFI stock regarding why SoFi stock is up today. So we're going to talk about a recent phenomenal news catalyst, not only for SoFi, but for the entire stock market. And we're going to go into SoFi's overall share price targets for the entire year of 2024. So for more videos on Palantir Technologies, artificial intelligence stocks, or SoFi Technologies, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to become a member of this channel for as little as 99 cents per month because that's what keeps me here on YouTube. And with all of that being said, I say let's jump right into today's stories. Let's start off with Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR, which is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies. And Palantir has been consistently improving their profitability, which will continue in 2024. If you didn't know, at the end of quarter three, Palantir closed a number of deals that were around $1 million. For instance, they had 80 deals worth at least $1 million across 30 different industries. So it really goes to show how useful their artificial intelligence technology truly is in regards to their various platforms. We also saw 29 deals of at least $5 million come in for Palantir Technologies, which adds to Palantir's revenue, and this was spread across across 16 different industries, while we had 12 major deals worth at least $10 million or more across 11 industries. And as they continuously sign more deals like we talked about in our last video, this will improve their overall accounting ratios, increase their revenue, and of course, cause their profitability to increase. And all of these financial factors should encourage investors to buy into the PLTR share price, which will move their stock price upwards, which is great news if you are an investor. But now let's talk about their fair value estimate to determine how well you are doing as a Palantir investor. Ideally, you would want to get this company below $12 per share. So if your average cost basis for this company is below $12, or more specifically $11.79, then you are doing phenomenal as a Palantir investor. And this fair value target comes in from a discounted free cash flow model from a bearish analyst, to where if they projected revenues out for 2032 for the entire year, and Palantir only brought in $8.8 .8 billion with a 31% free cash flow margin on top of a perpetual growth rate of 2%, while also incorporating a discount rate of 10%, your fair value would be $11.79. So if you currently hold the stock below $11.79, you are sitting really pretty right now. However, I do want to bring to your attention that this is not the fair value price target in the year of 2032. This is the fair price value price target of the company right now. And that's why we would use the discount rate to discount from the revenues of 2032 to determine what the company should be priced at right now when we consider their future growth rate. But what about the bullish price targets and the bullish fair price target? Well, bulls believe this company should be worth around $19.81. And this is a very accurate reading in regards to bullish positive analysts who really believe this company is going to shine in the future because there are even more 
more bullish analysts who believe this company will surge up to $25 in the year of 2024, and I can't wait to see if that's actually going to happen. For me personally, my fair value estimate would align almost directly with the author of this article's fair value estimate, and that would be the base case for Palantir Technologies of around $15.20. But again, ideally you would want to get this company for around $11.79, but if you started to acquire shares at around $15, that would also be beneficial as an investor. Lastly, you would also want to practice proper risk management by not overexposing yourself more than a 5% initial portfolio allocation to any singular risky growth company, including Palantir. That means if your portfolio is worth around $100,000, you would not want to invest more than $5,000 initially in Palantir Technologies. However, feel free to let that $5,000 grow as much as you want and take profits periodically if you think the share price is going to fall. But overall, I personally am a long-term investor in this company and my average cost basis is below $11.00. And 79 cents. So I'd love for you to comment down below what your average cost basis is for this company and whether or not you are green or red on this company. Moving right along here, let's talk about a company that I talked about in a previous video. So if you missed Palantir's amazing surge of over 200% year to date, you could still get on the bandwagon for this company. For instance, Palantir Technologies clearly has been one of the top performing stocks, especially in regards to artificial intelligence stocks. And that's why Palantir Technologies has produced eye-popping gains in their overall share price. However, Palantir's market cap is around $40 billion with a forward price-to-earnings ratio of 72, which means this company is trading at relatively high accounting ratios, so it may not be the best time to invest into this company at their current share price. So investors are now looking to other artificial intelligence AI stocks, especially artificial intelligence stocks with lower valuations and lower accounting ratios. So investors are looking for an alternative, and this is where we see super Super Microcomputer, ticker symbol SMCI. Clearly, Super Micro is not as well known as Palantir Technologies or NVIDIA. However, Super Micro does stand out as an IT solutions provider that designs servers, switches, storage systems, and software with global support services. And what I personally like about this company, and I've held this company in my portfolio for quite a while now, and I've had a huge payday recently, which we will get to when we look at their overall share price explosion. Loading, my favorite part about this company is that they have a huge competitive advantage over their peers. Because normally companies either focus on hardware or software, but not Super Micro. They literally have their foot in the door in both of these segments. And despite a market cap of only $14 billion, Super Micro has built a gigantic customer base in more than 100 countries. The company is also bringing in swaths of revenue that you need to be aware of. For instance, in the first quarter of fiscal 2024, which ended September 30th, they brought in revenue of just over $2.1 billion at a growth rate of 14% compared to the same quarter last year. So just right then, that's great news. However, this was actually a deceleration from their fiscal 2023 revenue numbers, which grew by 37%. But honestly, it doesn't matter. And we know why their overall revenues dropped slightly. And that was due to supply constraints. And we know a plethora of technology companies that went through constrained supply chains, even though the majority of these are working themselves out. You should also be aware that there was a 43% increase in operating expenses and their net income fell by 15% to 157 million dollars. We also see that their stock-based compensation has increased in order to attract more talent, and that expense came in at around 57 million dollars in fiscal quarter one, which is up from 11 million dollars in the year-ago quarter. Now, that is the bad news about this company, but guess what? It doesn't even matter, because the numbers that Supermicro is putting up right now are unbelievable. For instance, the company in general is worth between 14 to 15 billion dollars. And if Supermicro maintains their current fiscal revenue guidance, they're anticipated to bring in for the full year of 2024, $10 billion to $11 billion. This means their price to sales ratio, or PS multiple, is very, very low. This means that it's a phenomenal opportunity for investors to buy into this company, especially considering their growth of around 
14%. This would put their CAGR in regards to the revenue at a very impressive metric. And this is why many investors and analysts believe this company could surge in their overall share price higher than it has already surged. For instance, just look at the stock chart on screen right here. Look at how the share price has absolutely exploded. And I said that this could happen in a previous video when I reviewed this company initially. Just look over the last year, the amount of gains that investors have experienced. And if you see here in gray, this line is the S&P 500. So this company has absolutely demolished the S&P 500's returns, and at one point, when this company peaked, it was up more than 300%. Currently, they're trading at $283.24 per share, while very negative bearish analysts believe this company could fall to around $160, according to critics. However, on the opposite end, we have very bullish analysts who believe this company could surge up to $450 over the next 12 months. The company's stock price is already up more than 210% over the last 12 months, so so clearly I've had a phenomenal payday so far in this company. But despite this recent surge, the company is still only trading at a price to earnings ratio of 24, which is a substantial discount when we compare that to Palantir's PE ratio in regards to their forward PE ratio, which is 72. This company is substantially cheaper than a company like Palantir Technologies. And when we take into consideration their rapid expected growth, we know that Supermicro's gains are not likely to stop anytime soon. Now, we do need to consider that this company could pull back in their overall share price, but if you want to get in and get out of this stock, I would highly recommend you do your own research and look into this company because I've already experienced a phenomenal payday from them. Investors right now want to buy fast-growing stocks at a low price, and that's exactly what they get with Supermicro. And this means that if they miss the opportunity in Palantir, they could redeem themselves by looking into Supermicro, which gives them a second chance in the artificial intelligence space. So if you're looking for a very innovative AI stock that has a giant competitive advantage, considering its ability to combine hardware and software, it seems that this company could be the one that you are looking for. Therefore, overall, these factors all bode very well for Supermicro, micro as it continues to attract investors in the current market environment. However, always make sure to do your own research and there are pitfalls for this company like we said earlier, so always make sure to do your own research to determine if it's good for your personal portfolio. Last but not least, let's talk about SoFi Technologies SOFI stock because SoFi stock has been increasing in their overall share price lately thanks to a giant macroeconomic catalyst which is going to benefit financial institutions institutions such as traditional banks or fintech companies such as SoFi Technologies. If you didn't know, SoFi Technologies is up in their overall share price right now, and they've been up massively throughout the overall year, which we predicted in previous videos. The company has literally doubled in their share price year to date, so if you are an investor into SoFi, then you should be in the green, and SoFi has continued to rally thanks from a recent update from the Federal Reserve. And I want to quote straight from this article, which says, the big news here that has SoFi stock up to Today is that there are no new interest rate increases from the Fed. Instead, the central bank is leaving the interest rate between 5.25% and 5.5% for the rest of 2024. It also suggests that there could be a minimum of three rate cuts in 2024, end quote. And this is phenomenal news. Without the Federal Reserve, who is the central bank increasing the overall interest rates, this is going to be phenomenal for the overall economy, the stock market, and especially financial stocks. So by technology, is going to benefit from this news as high interest rates have been weighing on the overall economy and specific financial institutions. And the way that a high interest rate environment would weigh on SoFi Technologies and other fintech companies or even traditional banks would be that as interest rates increase, it's less likely that people are going to take out various types of loans because it's just too expensive. The interest rates that you're going to be paying on these loans are just too high. So thanks to the Federal Reserve saying that they're not going to increase interest rates and that they could potentially decrease interest rates, this has fueled enthusiasm for financial institutions, financial stocks, and the overall stock market in general, which is very good from a macroeconomic perspective. This also means that housing interest rates are also going to start dropping, along with many other types of interest rates across the board, including things like credit cards, personal loan rates, mortgage rates, and many others, especially if these institutions want to remain competitive in the current market environment. Now, this does beg the question, why does the Fed, aka the Federal Reserve, aka 
A, the central banks increase interest rates in the first place. Well, when you increase interest rates, this combats inflation and it makes prices go lower as interest rates go up. So higher interest rates offset inflation and get it under control. However, now that inflation has started to finally cool off, this has encouraged the Federal Reserve to stop increasing interest rates and potentially lower interest rates. And those are going to be phenomenal catalysts in the year of 2024. If we ever got news that the Fed is going to lower interest rates, which they could potentially do three times throughout the year of 2024, these are going to be phenomenal catalysts for the overall stock market, technology companies, and especially financial institutions. Now, the best part about this is that SoFi Technologies gets a double dip here because SoFi Technologies is not only a financial institution, but they are a technology company as well. So they are going to benefit twofold from each of these catalysts. Therefore, investors in SoFi stock are celebrating this phenomenal news, which has led to an increase in their overall strong trading lately. SoFi stock already popped around 8.4% today alone, and it's up around 116.3% since the start of this year. Currently, they're trading for $9.40 per share, while analysts believe it could surge as high as $15 by the end of 2024. So if you want a phenomenal payday, feel free to do more research into SoFi technologies. But always remember to practice proper risk management. I would love to hear your thoughts down below about Palantir Technologies, Super Micro, and SoFi Technologies. Tell me what you think of all of these companies, and if you are excited for these phenomenal news updates, don't forget to go and annihilate that like button for more videos just like this one. Subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to become a member of this channel for as little as 99 cents per month because that's what keeps me here on YouTube. And with all of that being said, I wish you the best of luck and happy investing.